nine sources of belief in God. Almost everybody believes in God or in gods. From whence comes this quasi-universal belief? Here are some commonly held opinions about the sources of this belief illustrated from the Holy Bible. 1. Culture. Those who grow up in a society that believes in God or in gods will also believe in the same God or gods. Choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your fathers served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. 2. Intuition. Most folk have a personal sense of the existence of God, a fact that they cannot explain. It just seems true to them. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who, by their unrighteousness, suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. 3. Logic. Major premise. Only intelligence can design complex systems. Minor premise. Living beings consist of very complex systems. Deduction. An intelligent being has designed living creatures. What can be known about God is plain, for his invisible attributes, namely, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly perceived, ever since the creation of the world, in the things that have been made. 4. Conscience. Human beings have a strong conscience of right and of wrong, by which they conclude that there is an ultimate judge to whom all must give an account. Their conscience also bears witness and their conflicting thoughts accuse or even excuse them, on that day when, according to my gospel, God judges the secrets of men, by Christ Jesus. 5. Conversion. Some folk confess faith in God after they embrace a philosophy, a religion, or a political ideology that assumes divine authority or revelation. Where you go I will go, and where you lodge I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die I will die, and there will I be buried. 6. Revelation Many seem convinced that they have personally received a message or a vision from a spirit, an angel, or a deity affirming the existence of God. Dread came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones shake. A spirit glided past my face, the hair of my flesh stood up. Then I heard a voice, Can mortal man be in the right before God? 7. Experience. By prayer and astonishing results, by sudden healing from disease, by deliverance from evil spirits, or by a deep sense of peace and joy, some come to believe in God. The master of the feast tasted the water now become wine. This, the first of his signs Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory. And his disciples believed in him. 8. Scripture. The Holy Bible records hundreds of predictions made by the Hebrew prophets and by Jesus, which have come to pass, being attested by eyewitnesses, inspiring faith in the biblical God. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other, 
nor my praise to carved idols. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare, before they spring forth I tell you of them. 9. Jesus. This unique individual's deeds, teaching, death, resurrection, and extraordinary promises have led billions of humans to put their faith in God. Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit, Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven, and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers having been subjected to him.